child. I can't. Mm. Sip your tea, Kai. Sip your tea. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyra Sean. Welcome back to another edition of Wigmas. So today's video is a little different. I'm collabing with one of my YouTube bays, and she goes by the name of Aya All Day. Aya is legit an OG in this wig game. Now Aya is super sweet, but she is a no nonsense sweet girl. She not gonna take ish from nobody, okay? And she'll let you know quick. I, I don't got time for that. She likes to get straight to the point and out the way. So I respect her so much for that. She has put me on to a lot of game outside of the YouTube street, meaning the things you guys do not see on. YouTube. He has enlightened a lot of us about things that happen in the background, in the back streets, in the alleyways of these YouTube streets. And I know for me, I can say I appreciate her so much for just putting me up on game and letting me know what's really good out here and how I need to maneuver certain things in this business. I have so much love and respect for her. So I could not do Wigmas without featuring her in one of these videos. And she actually had the great idea to buy each other a wig and send it to each other. We had no input from the other person on what wig we should buy the person. Um, it was more so like, hey, do you know me? Which wig would I buy? What should I try on my channel that I have not tried before? So that's what we did, and I'm ready to see what she bought me. Now, obviously, I did get her a wig as well, so the link to her video will be listed down below. Before we get into what she got me, make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. Okay, so here we have the box, okay? So let's go ahead and get this joint open. I need some scissors. I don't have... Get this box open real quick. Uh, what we hitting for, Aya? Uh, what we hitting for? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so I do not have this wig. I have never tried it at all. She got it in my favorite color though, so I'm excited about this. Is this a, what's this? Oh, this is the lace front. This is by Model Model, and it is the unit Fable, and she got it in the color OT530. Now, we did have a $30 budget for this wig, so I'm not really sure how much it is exactly, but I know it'll be $30 and under. Let's get her out, let's get her out. I honestly was hoping it was gonna be a, um, a lace part unit, so I didn't have to lay no baby hairs down, but you know what, it's okay, it's okay. Maybe we can do a lazy girl method on this joint. Okay, so this is how she is looking out the pack. Very, very pretty color. Um, it comes with the pre-plugged hairline. I don't even think I knew that Model Model had lace fronts. I thought they only had lace parts. See how much I know, um, but it does come with a pre-plugged type of hairline in the front. It's not really plucked on the sides as much, um, but I doubt we'll use the sides, so you know. Um, there's two combs behind the lace area here. There's also another comb in the back with the adjustable straps. The cap actually feels pretty stretchy, so I don't think I'll need to take off the adjustable straps, but we will see. My hair is still cornrowed and I have on my wig grip. Yeah, let's just go ahead and put this joint on and see what's happening. Ooh! I may want to take off the adjustable straps just for the fit, um, but we'll see after I cut this lace off. Let me see. So obviously you guys saw when I showed you guys the hairline, it looked more plucked than that. And that's sometimes what I don't like about older wigs that did the lace front hairline because off your head, it looks plucked. And then you put it on your head and it looks like a square. So it's very confusing to me um, why it does that. But I think we can make it work as it is right now. That's a really pretty color though. That is actually really, really pretty. But let's go ahead and style this up really quick and then I'll come back and tell you guys if I think Aya did a good job picking the wig for me. Okay, I'll be right back. back let me just go ahead and shut up and drink my day on tea okay uh, uh. Because I am putting my foot in my mouth right now. Now this does come with a 13 by four lace parting area based on the card here. And it also is heat safe up to about 400 degrees. The texture of this unit is actually really, really soft. Even for a colored unit, it still holds the texture really well. I would definitely say this is like a soft, light, yakky texture. The color is obviously one of my favorite parts. Um, I wish the gradient was a little teeny bit better for this, but I know this is a older unit. Let me just fix that really quick. Let me just put that back behind my ear real quick. Even though this comes with a natural looking hairline, it reminds me of Bobby Boss Savannah 
California. You guys know I love that unit. However, once you put it on your head, it's kind of like that natural hairline goes away. So you still have to go in and do some work to it. Um, I didn't really want to work on this unit because I was really hoping that AO would send me a lace part unit because I just wanted something like really, really easy. So I figured I would do my lazy girl method on this unit to blend it down and make it look a little natural. So that's kind of what I did. I started to go in and pluck some out and then I got tired after like, you know, three and four plucks. And I was like, you know what? Forget it. So <laughs> I just kind of brought some little swoops down here and swooped that back. And I just swooped that back into the unit, swooped it down here. And then I went in with my face powder on a big fluffy brush and I just packed it into the parting space in the hairline. If you look really, really close, I didn't pluck anything. That's actually still hair right there. But because I covered it with powder, it looks a little plucked. Now the fit of this cap is a little wonky in my opinion. It fits good in my front and back, but it is Big Head Associate based on how it's fitting on my sides. The ear tabs for the unit are kind of like back and up in the unit. So it's not, it doesn't come down even close to my actual ear tab. What? space. Initially I thought the unit was twisted to the side but it wasn't. It was just kind of how it was fitting. So I don't know what that's about but I made it work. I continued with the lazy girl method. I folded it back into the unit, pushed it behind my ear, put my little edge booster on my edges right there and here we are. I didn't want to spend too much time on making this unit work for me and I'm glad I didn't because it came out just fine. I did that. So that's why I said I'm eating my words because literally when I put this joint on my head I was like that dang a <laughs> What was she thinking sending me this daggone wig? Now I know, she knew I would end up liking it. I'm not getting any tangling with this unit. However, I am getting some shedding with that. That's a lot of hair coming out of there. And I kind of expect that because it is an older um, colored unit. So the shedding does not bother me. Once you get it out, it's out and you can go on about your business. The unit is pretty long. It comes down just at my chest. So that's definitely a good 22 inches on me. And then to the back, that is how she is looking. The curls are very, very romantic. Like I love how that looks. I did go in and brush the curls out, but as you can see, they're kind of reverting back to how they were out the pack, which is okay. I just wanted to give them some more body and I like them a lot. And that is one thing I miss in the newer units. You don't see texture and body like this anymore. You, you really you really just don't. And if you do, it's a hot mess of tangles, okay? Like you see me, I'm not getting tangles with this unit. I'm pulling my fingers right on through. The shedding, I didn't get no shedding that time, okay? Look how the unit is sitting on my face right now. Where are these units today? Name one and it better have a good texture and it better not tangle. See, got you right there. Did not, did not. Some little Kermit was going a mile a minute about the type sensational. Don't do that because I said no tangling. I did look it up and this unit is definitely under $30 and I believe the base price is like $27 for a 13 by 4 lace part unit. Chow. I can't. Mm. Sip your tea, Kai. Sip your tea. I do have other model model units and I will say the texture mimics those units as well. So they do have a certain texture across the board. So I don't really know what happened. I kind of just fell off from them, but I'm woke. Okay, I'm sorry. I I'm coming back. I did go in with some free spray to spray down the unit just a little bit because there are some flyaways kicking up and I did not want them to snatch off my eyelashes. Y'all know how long it takes to put these joints on. I'm not with that today, okay? So I wanted to make sure it was good to go and I really like how this look came out. But that is pretty much all I got for this wig. This was really an easy slay, you guys. Very easy. You guys saw what I did. And you guys know I like big curls and I can't not lie. You other wigs can't deny. So yes, I'm here for this unit. Thank you, Aya. This is a perfect holiday slay. It took me about five minutes to put this on, okay? You got time? The information for this wig will be down below. So if you guys want to check it out, you can. Definitely shout out to Aya for doing this video with me and coming up with such a cool idea. I may want to try this idea again. Additionally, I know it is Aya's birthday. I think it was yesterday. So when you go over and check out her video, because I know you will. Make sure you tell her happy birthday and that Kyra Sean sent you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also, smash the notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.